Brexit! Self-medicating? No sunshine. Well, it is England, Hampshire. The divide between rich and poor. Judgment for being different. These are tough times we're living in, but we've got therapy to see us through with their latest album, Cleave. Right, okay then. So, some of you may notice I'm in a bit of a different environment to my normal hills. I'm at some EGX thing, the center of nerds. A lot of diabetes around. I thought I'd use this time to do one of my own reviews. Why not? Therapy are one of those bands that I kind of look at almost like Clutch, which I did a review on recently. By that I mean they're one of those bands that never really got their just desserts. They never quite got as big as they should have done in my humble opinion. I think they should be huge, great band. This will be the band's 15th album and their first album since uh, 2016's Disquiet, which was a great album. It was a really fun album, actually really enjoyed that one a lot. And this album is produced by Chris Sheldon, who they uh, did their infamous Trouble Gum album with. In terms of the actual band themselves, Therapy are one of these bands that have... Uh, they seem to transcend genre. They never fit into any particular sort of uh, framework which is one of the reasons I like the band so much. Probably also why they're one of the bands that have never really uh, gotten as big as they should have done. But the point I'm making, therapy always sounds like therapy. When you actually hear the band, you know, you know it's therapy. On guitar and vocals, we have Andy Cairns, as usual. We have longtime serving bass player, Michael McKeenan. And on drums, we have Neil Cooper. There's a distinctive sound to the drums with therapy, regardless of who's playing. I guess it's all the way to uh, the way it's produced, the way it's mixed. There's a certain snap to the drumming in therapy, which again adds to the uh, familiar sound. First track, Wreck It, like Beckett. Nice uh, down-tuned riff starts things off here quite nicely. And we've got this Andres Kisser sort of style discordance added to the song. Everyone's living all over each other. Everyone's living their life out loud. Everyone's fighting with one another. Shut off the picture, kill the sound. Andy Ken said of this song, lyrically it's about trying to start anew. Samuel Beckett is referenced in the title because each time he began a new project, he used to imagine that he was sitting at a desk and could swipe his arm across the desk to sweep... Oh, fucking Christ. Each time he began a new project, he used to imagine that he was sitting at a desk and could swipe his arm across the desk to clear away all the sheets of paper so that he could make a fresh start. Art. This is a song that sets the album up as a new chapter for therapy. Pretty fucking good start as far as I'm concerned. Hang on. We got some Fallout 76 shit here. Bunch of nerd stuff. Fallout 76. Track 2, Kakistocracy. I think that's how it's pronounced. Had a real nice heavy slower groove on this one which really worked well. With a touch of punk in there as well which has always been a part of uh, therapy's sound. As I mentioned you've got that classic therapy drum sound. Michael's bass playing really shines through on this one as well. Really good. It's okay not to be okay. Really enjoyed this song. I plow my way through these nerds. Next up we have Calo. Another really discordant sounding riff with a hint of mastodon, if I'm not much mistaken. I presume this song is about medication, whether it be through uh, prescription drugs or abusing drugs yourself, or uh, whether it be other people, in fact. There's quite an interesting video that accompanies this song as well, it's pretty cool. I don't need your medicine. I don't need anything from you. And if you take my demons, you'll take my angels too. This one sounded like pretty much old school therapy to me. I'm really digging this album already, man. I mean, I'm gonna say right now, it's gonna be a high score in this one. I'm a, I'm a big fan of therapy in this album. Again, why aren't they fucking bigger than they are? It makes no sense to me whatsoever. There's a bunch of PlayStation looking shit. Next up, we have Expelled. It's a very uh, prominent bass riff that brings us into this one. And uh, quite frankly, this one could have easily been on a, uh, on a Nirvana album, had it been written and performed by Nirvana. Andy spits out his feelings of alienation. I wasn't born pretty. I wasn't born rich. Everything I've got, I've had to fight for it. Real punk spirit on this song, and I, uh, yeah, I really, really dug this one. Great song. Strange Brigade. Next song, Success. Success is survival. Real 80s vibe on this one. Mixing uh, moments of punk and new wave. And on this one, Andy takes a look between the divide between the rich and the poor. Some of us have nothing left. Some of us take it all. Some of us have nothing left. Divided. Vulnerable. There is a lot of shiznit going on. I'm gonna point the camera this way purely for some color variation. And over here we have some almost HP Lovecraft type tentacles. I am actually with people here, by the way. I'm just doing this shit on my own. 
I do have friends. Next up we have Save Me From The Ordinary. The real nice distorted bass line that kicks this one off. That's mimicked by the guitar pretty much soon afterwards to uh, accentuate said thing. Some really great riffs on this one I thought. Days unfold. Unsure. Unsteady. Save me from the ordinary. Please. I got a feeling this review might be quite fast, so I'm certainly hyper focused. So, uh, so that I don't uh, see the people looking at me. What's going on in here? The transfuser? Bullshit. Next up, we have Crutch. This one had a bit of a crossover, actually, I found between Scream Major and Die Laughing. It had that kind of old school therapy sound again, but uh, modernized. Definitely had a different spin on it, caught, uh, you know, brought up to. Oh, God's sake, I'm talking shit. I've always really loved their ability to write heavy, emotive songs and still have a real catchy chorus that you can sing along to. You once were the spark that gave me life. Now I wish that I just left you alone. You once were the fire that set me alight. But now you're just a crutch and I can't let go. Next up, a song that I very much relate to. I stand alone. A bit more of a metal riff on this one and uh, kind of a death tones tinge to the vocal phrasing in particular, I thought. I am only a cork, floating on the ocean, but underneath, everything has teeth. Real stomp of this song, really enjoyed this one, great track. Next up we have Dumb Down. This one has a real Houdini era Melvin's vibe to it, I thought, kind of a honey bucket uh, hooch. Anything with H. And I'm guessing that this song is their take on Brexit and the current political and social climate that we find ourselves in. The hating of other people for being different or blaming others for our pro blaming others for our problems. Fuck's sake, loud as fuck. <laughs> Some people like you hate people like me. Final song on the album is No Sunshine. It's a real heavy close to the album with some sludgy riffs. And uh, there's a hint of The Cure mixed in with this one as well. It works really well, I thought. It's got a real anthemic chorus with some real heartfelt lyrics from Andy. Every day's the same, walking round in circles, like my ankles on a chain. And then later he adds, depression is a thief. It robs you of friends and self-belief. I'm gonna give this album a nine out of 10. I really enjoyed it that much. It was such a great fucking album. Really, really enjoyed it a lot. Is that, uh, it's so good to hear an album that, um, from a band that I grew up with, that is still putting out consistently great music. Like Clutch, as I said earlier on, this is one of those bands that should be absolutely nuclear. Why they're not, I have no idea. But uh, great album, check this one out. You're gonna love it. If you're a therapy fan, you're gonna love it. If you're not, it might turn you on to therapy. Everyone needs some therapy. Let's be honest. I think that's going to do for today. I've done more than enough. I've talked a wa waffling load of shit. I've negotiated a ton of fucking nerds. I have talked way too much shit. And now I think it is time for me to bid you adieu.